Okay, in this video I'm going to introduce the first set of formulae in the Accelerated Linear Motion uh, chapter of the book of Fundamental Applied Mathematics. The chapter number is number two. So, these formulae basically make up everything that you will do in, the, uh, in this chapter. And they're quite simple, they're very straightforward, and uh, like I said, I'm going to discuss them now. So first of all, we have the following, uh, the following variables, u, v, a, s, and t. Now, these pretty much, like, you don't need to, you don't need to stick with these variables, but uh, I'd suggest you do, because everybody does the same, and it's just easier to do it that way. So essentially what we say is that u is equal to your initial, or your start time, Sorry, velocity. I suppose actually it'll more be speed, won't it? It'll be speed. V is your final speed. Your A is acceleration. S is distance. And T stands for time. So in any questions regarding accelerated linear motion, you'll be looking for one of those five, um, five, uh, what would you call them, variables or uh, quantities. And the formulae that I will give you now basically relate all those together. There, if you look on page, let's say page 39, 38 of uh, the book, you will find the proofs for these. Now to be honest, the proofs aren't that important and they are quite simple all the same. So, like you can look at those if you like, it's probably best I suppose that you do, but anyway, these are the formula here, you have uh, V is equal to U plus AT, you have V squared is equal to U squared plus 2AS, you have S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, and finally you have S um, S is equal to U plus V over 2 times T. By the way, if you look, those two formulas are the exact same. There's different ways of writing it. So, oh wait, they're not, sorry. That's that's something else. Something else. Yeah, don't mind that. Right, there are your, your four formula. Yeah, there are your four formula. And you'll use those in every single, uh, you use those in every single uh, question, or, uh, that you, you know, any question, or any, uh, anything you'll be doing in this chapter. So, that's really it, I suppose. Like so, v the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. The final velocity squared uh, equals the initial speed squared plus twice the acceleration times the distance. The distance is equal to initial speed times the time plus a half of the acceleration times the time squared. And this distance is equal to the sum of the speeds over two multiplied by the time. And uh, that's all I really have to say about that. We, I suppose you, you really understand these when you start doing them in a, start doing them practically. So I hope that was. I suppose there's much in that. But anyway, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Pass it on to your friends.